All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome into today's edition of In the Game. I am your host, Hustle, and as always, we're going to be diving into the markets. Is this bull run over? That is the question that a lot of people are asking. We saw Bitcoin literally take a 200% plus gain over the last year, and really over the last six months, but then we saw this big retrace. Is this run over? Spoiler alert. I for for my like in my opinion I actually don't think so I'll go over my thesis on that and why there are still catalysts around the corner that I believe could still catapult this market and the sectors and the specific tokens I'm looking to DCA at this point in time I think the watch list is looking pretty juicy today for some DCA positions and we'll go over all of that and more in this edition without further ado let's get in the game And as always, guys, drop down, hit that like button and subscribe for more every single day here on In The Game as well. We're trying to hit that 100K subscriber mark. Help us out. Hit the subscribe button down below. We are really pushing for that mark. We wanted to hit it by the end of March, but hey, maybe the market will be nice to us and we can hit it at the end of April. And a quick shout out to all of our sponsors here on In The Game. We have Vulcan Forged, Ultra, Dreams Quest. We have Game Starter, Uncaged, Linea, Fontico. Uh, we have My Lovely Planet, as well as Pika Moon, our newest sponsor, Reality Metaverse. We have Affin, as well as Moon Tropica. So we have tons of sponsors here on the channel. To make it easy, we have links down below for all of our sponsors. You can check them out in the description down below. So let's jump into the market as we see here. Bitcoin over the week is down about 7%, but you know, on the monthly, we're up 23%. And in the thumbnail, I definitely look a little bit depressed, right? I'm like, I'm like hand over face. And you might think, you know, the, the that's the way that a lot of crypto Twitter is looking right now. A lot of people, it's doom and gloom. They think that this run is over. But at the same time, I really don't. These bull market pullbacks are very typical. And, you know, whether we continue this run throughout the entire year, I think that's doubtful. I do think the institutions are at our back. We have BlackRock pumping our bags, and that's obviously a very positive thing. We have the halving, which is literally one month away. That is obviously the biggest catalyst that Bitcoin has on a quarterly, or on a, not a quarterly, on a four-year basis. So when you look at some of the metrics around the corner, I think that Bitcoin still is in a really good spot, which is you know provides a great spot for altcoins. And when we're looking at the altcoin market, first and foremost, uh, gotta give a shout out to some of the uh, plays that we given here on the channel a fin ever since they came on as a sponsor this thing's been ripping they locked up 50 percent of the supply as far as um you know their long term they locked up 50 percent of the supply for 10 years so they came on they had some catalyst and this thing's been ripping it's up 46 percent this week and almost 500 percent on the 30 day we have champs which one of my favorite low market cap plays on the tier list on Wednesday this landed in my 25x category and i genuinely do think this could 25x from where it was on that tier list uh it's up 48% on the week which is looking very very nice we have box bet one of our gamble five positions taking a nice leg up up 17% this week we'll filter filter over here to the week mantra ohm this is an interesting project that came on my radar recently it's crushing and it. it's up 47 percent new token launch here for entangle up 44 percent for the week domi online one of my favorite low market cap plays we see it's up 20 percent as well as Citus winner compete Creo engines looking pretty solid. Echelon Prime's up 90% for the month. So there are some shining spots in the market as far as tokens that really aren't feeling the pain as far as this market dip. But when we filter the watch list to the, you know, the bottom side, there are definitely some projects taking a hit on the daily and on the weekly that we will be taking a look at. But first and foremost, before we get into those buys and the things that I'm looking at currently, let's get into a little bit of news in the Web3 gaming space. First and foremost, look at this setup at GDC for Avalanche. Uh, Easy Eats, good friend of mine here. He says, Avalanche did not have to go this hard at GDC. The branding is incredible. Uh, they had a big booth. They had people playing the games. They had you know displays of Domi Online, Off the Grid, Shrapnel, all their different games in their ecosystem. And when you see here, this, just the branding, Web3 Gaming sucks. That's a conversation starter, to say the least, right? Very polarizing. I know that their booth was one of the front and center 
uh, platforms at GDC this year, which is very bullish for the Web3 gaming space. Shout out to Superverse and Wilder World, two of my favorite projects. You know, Super as far as infrastructure, Wilder World as far as individual games and open world and metaverses go. We see another collaboration here. Super is integrating their token into so many different games at this point in time. Off the grid, Metalcore, we have uh, My Pet Hooligan. Now we see Wilder World coming through the door. Super is adding utility by the day, which is, you know, no pun intended, super bullish for Superverse and uh, Wilder World. I, I can't describe enough how bullish I've been recently as far as what they've done. Partnering up with Celestia, Polygon, partnering up with NVIDIA, partnering up with Superverse as we see the advertisement here. Uh, that's what I'm looking for, the, the advertisement here in the open world. So pretty awesome partnership here for two of my favorite projects. We have Heroes of Mavia. Um, I'm still playing this game very frequently. And I mean, this game, it, they have so much to move forward towards with their economy launch coming up as well. But they just came up with the revenge battle plan. So now whenever you lose a battle, you can actually go into revenge mode, which I think is pretty cool. And then shout out to one of my good friends, um, Jesus Martinez. I've been on his channel a couple of times. Uh, his guild just hit number one in America. So that was pretty cool to see. You know, a lot of people are competing in this ecosystem and, and trying to get to those top spots. I think when the economy goes live here for Mavia, the play to earn side is going to kick in and we're really going to see some FOMO into that. Um, and, you know, kind of going into the good buys in the market, we'll move the watch list back up here because the next couple of things I have here are regarding what I think are pretty good buys in the market currently. We'll kind of go down the list here. First and foremost, I mean, Virtue Poker is getting hit hard. I don't know what's going on um, with the price here. Obviously, I know Becker's an investor into this. I, I've you know been a fan of what they've done. I'm I'm really looking for this to take a bounce back. So you know they've at, at such a low market cap, it definitely has taken a, a harder hit than most in the market. So I'm looking for that to take a bounce back. But uh, you know it has been nothing but slowly declining. So just tread with caution there. If I'm looking at DCAs, especially on the weekly, this is where I would be looking. Um, first and foremost, Moon Tropica. This thing's done so many X's that it's hard to justify getting in at this point in time. But at the market cap, and you know, they're a sponsor here on the show. I've been hearing some of the things that they have around the corner. This thing definitely has a lot left in the tank. I think that Moon Tropica could be a good DCA if you've missed this run completely. Uh, we have ScarQuest. I hosted them on a Twitter space yesterday. I actually really like what they're doing. We covered it earlier this week. They recently partnered up with IMX, so some good catalysts there. Altura and Cap Games. I mean, Altura is falling towards that five cent range as we see here. So when we look at the one year chart here. This thing got all the way up, almost touched 10 cents. And it's retraced over 33% at this point in time. I think that Altura is getting into pretty decent buy ranges. I think Senate alongside Citus are still sitting at pretty good levels as well. Uh, one I really wanted to hit on was Playable Games. So Playable, every time it falls below this 0 .004 mark, it has typically been bought up ever since it, you know, surpass those levels currently from our entry we're still at over a 4x we've taken profits over time as we should have this thing 10x at one point in time but anything under this 20 million circulating market cap i'm eating that up i think that that's going to be a really good long-term position and if you look at the things they've been updating on recently they had the largest airdrop campaign in coin market cap history uh, based on the metrics, uh, and if you if you look at some of the data there, uh, as well as they're providing updates today for their game, um, Nexus, their premier game, where you can jump in every day and earn rewards. So as far as gaming studio plays, I think that it's pretty cheap as far as today goes. So I'm definitely looking at playable games for a potential DCA. I think Beam, I think Dubs is at a fantastic level as well in the Gamblefy sector slash esports slash gaming. This one... It, they are, they've definitely delayed some partnership announcements here, but I think once people understand the scope of this project, the amount of liquidity that is going to be going through there for wager matches in the Web3 gaming space, I think that Dubs is an absolute no-brainer at this point in time. Unix, I'm still bullish on Unix. I just think it's you know not got the sentiment in the market currently, and I do think it will make a comeback. I like Miria as a DCA today as well as Shrapnel. I think that Shrapnel's got a lot of potential currently. They have a lot of the sentiment 
over at GDC this year. It's pretty impressive, actually, to see the amount of people that are flocking in and, and trying to play Shrapnel. The Wolves Den house, they were, you know, set up with monitors. They were playing the STX2 over there as well. So, you know, pretty good stuff going on in the gaming space right now. Uh, shout out to Based. This one's been crushing it for us during this point in time where the market's dipping, but Based has definitely been um, holding up the portfolio in some sort of ways. But when I look across the space, I think Balance AI also has a lot of key updates coming. The future of productivity, autonomous AI agents tackling tasks with precision, learn from experience and prioritize objectives without cons uh, constant human oversight. This right here is my absolute favorite AI play. Um, I hold render. I have ocean protocol. There are other, you know, AI projects that I do have in my stack. But whenever I look across the board, I just think that this project has the most left in the tank and is also the highest utility of the bunch of some of these different projects that haven't really had that major run yet. So I'm looking at balance AI as well. If I'm going to double down, Blast was really hot. And, you know, Gamblefy also has been cooling off quite a bit. I think Blast will make a comeback, especially whenever that second round of airdrops comes around. And you should be definitely interacting with some of these dApps. Decentral Games is just updating in, and they bridged over to their bag token, which is, you know, native to Blast. And you can actually start earning Blast points for the next airdrop just by playing Decentral Games. As we see here, you get Blast gold notifications, point rewards, casino cash back. So there's a lot of stuff going on here uh, within the Decentral Games ecosystem. And I just think that it's one that's being overlooked in the market currently. And, you know, similarly, it's hard to choose like a couple of things that I would DCA today. That's why like we go through a big list of projects and it's all going to be based off your risk appetite, right? Personally speaking, I think some good ones today for DCAs would be Moon Tropica. Kaneko's pretty beat up. I think Altura is a no-brainer. I think Senate's going to make a big comeback. I think Guildfy is looking phenomenal as far as a DCA today. I think that playable games, Dubs, as well as Unix, Miria, and I would say Shrapnel um, at this point in time. Those would be my main DCAs as far as this market dip currently. And I, look, I'd be stacking Super Beam. Ronin, I'd stack those no brainer. I, I think that you can't have enough of those heading into this next cycle, but that's the stuff that I would be DCAing the hardest today. And then I loved this tweet um, from Becker today. And I do a lot of these similar tweets uh, where I'm going over a lot of the upcoming launches, but it's, you know, it's not just me that's looking ahead to these things. Like right now when the market's slow, you should be planting seeds in your DCA positions. But not only that, you should be looking at the launches that are coming up. Some of the ones that Becker's looking at currently, we have Bloodloop, Games GG, Chrono Forge, Pixelmon, My Pet Hooligan, Gaiman, Xborg, Rumble Kong League, Mochaverse, as well as Gunzilla Off the Grid and Shreeverse. We have Skillful AI, GPU.net, DOP, and Nuke AI. Uh, that's a new one. I'm going to have to go check that one out and just kind of take a look at it. And we'll get to the launch pad stuff here in a second, because I think this is very important for a couple of projects like Cedify and Citus that we're very heavy on as far as here on in the game. Um, so some of these block games, no brainer. Um, I got involved here as a contributor and an investor. I think that block games, it's all over your timeline. You can literally go farm this right now. And I'll, I'll pull it up even on my phone where you can go, you can use the app. It, it's native to your phone and it just downloads right onto your phone. You can start using the Block Games app. You can farm on socials and just use the hashtag or, or the cash tag technically, uh, the ticker sign block or at get block games. And you can start earning airdrop points for this upcoming launch. I mean, they have some of the biggest backers and contributors in the space. We see Chrono Forge, which I'm also an investor in. I think this one's going to crush it. They're integrating AI into the game, which if you know anything about my investment thesis, I think gaming and AI, that crossover is going to be one of the biggest in 2024 with Parallel Colony, AI Arena, Today the Game. And now we see Chrono Forge integrating AI. Uh, it looks like AI minds into the playable characters of their ecosystem. We have Gaiman. This one goes live in four days. 
So this one's going to be amazing, in my opinion. It's an L2 on Binance Smart Chain that is going to be using the capabilities of AI and GPU computing, as well as gaming. So it's gaming, AI, and Deepin. As we see here, they have AAA titles like Grand Theft Auto, Minecraft, Rust, all playable on their platform. So it's a pretty cool. They have GPU mining as well. It, it, it's a really you know diverse project. Uh, I, I did get involved in that one as well. Uh, and I also made a little bit of an investment into games.gg. They announced their contributors list today. Uh, people like Becker, Pintoshi, Ivan on Tech, Crypto God, John, Dingaling. So we see some big names coming in on the strategic round here uh, on this $2 million round for games.gg. And then we'll move into the last couple of things here. Versus X token is around the corner. I think this is one you should have your eyes on. We did a raise for this in my software project, Nexus. I think this one's going to really like, really crush it as far as sports games go because there's not a lot of sports games in the Web3 gaming space. And growing up, and, and still, I love NBA 2K. I love playing some Madden. I love MLB The Show. And they have some of these mini games and, and these different type of uh, diverse platforms like the golf like billiards, they're coming out with a lot more different types of games. So I think that this one's definitely one to have on your radar. And then if you're looking for like an airdrop alpha right now, definitely go farm the airdrop for block games. But head over to Dega's Twitter page here, and they're actually doing an airdrop campaign on a quest with Cornucopius, one of the top, you know, formerly strictly a cardano game now it's 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 a multi-chain ecosystem i think that this is going to be a pretty good opportunity to get a nice little airdrop and be able to potentially you know farm that and, and you know participate in this quest and get some free tokens as far as fourteen thousand dega as well as twenty two thousand kopi so you can double up there get some dega and kopi so you know, as always, we're giving you all the alpha here on In The Game from some of the news in the space, from some of the stuff that I think are just fantastic buys, projects that are coming out with some updates, as well as, you know, these new projects that are coming out. And then, you know, Becker's looking at Cetify and Citus in the launchpad space. We gave you guys Cetify at 60 cents. That's about 8x ago. So, you know, I'm not going to be aping into Cetify currently, but I still do think it's a great play. I think Citus is the undervalued one. They have massive liquidity, massive community, massive connections. I think they're going to be getting some pretty good rounds with their partnership with Chain GPT Pad. And let's move into the last part of the show here with the sponsorship updates. We see our newest sponsor here, Pika Moon, which actually just started trading today. They got listed on BitGet, Mexi, and Uniswap right away, which is pretty rare i mean like the the culture of this project comes from the meme side it, it gives meme coin but you know they actually do have a legitimate product and a legitimate game that you know thousands of people have jumped into you know pretty pretty solid team the core group of guys are some pretty cool uh, characters i would say whenever you see them on podcasts and stuff like that don't mind the price action but the market cap is absolutely crazy uh, this thing started at a 10 million market cap. It's at $136 million market cap. So shout out to Pika Moon, very successful launch. And it's very rare that you see a token like this go on these types of exchanges on day one. We see My Lovely Planet. The presale ends on Sunday. So today's Friday. You have two days left to go jump into this presale, two days and five hours. You're getting the last price before the TGE price. So you can still get a little bit of a discount here. If you enter, we see it's backed by Ubisoft, won the Unity Humanity Award, which is pretty cool. And this is a project that just gives back. And I, I really do like what they're doing. So if you plant trees in the game, they plant trees in the real world. They've planted thousands of trees over in Madagascar. So you're literally supporting a good cause. But at the same time, this is a very lively ecosystem. 30,000 plus players and downloads across their app stores. You can click buy now and use the code hustle to get involved. And then last but not least, we have Africa Rare. Um, they just did their NFT launch on their OG passes. So you're going to get different rewards. You can claim, stake, and watch your Ubu rewards, which is their new token, roll in. So you can actually jump in here, go to their Twitter, check out the utility behind the OG pass. And another project that's very philanthropic, they're giving back in a lot of different ways. And I think it's a pretty cool ecosystem to be able to take a look at. Um, so just to summarize, guys, I'm bullish still. And it's hard for me you know, and I, I, my investment thesis, I'm, 
I'm heavy into a lot of different projects and I'm, I'm definitely widespread, but you know, my portfolio has grown so much over the time that I'm picking bets. I'm consolidating bags right now. So consolidate some of your lower conviction stuff right now into your higher conviction plays while the market's giving you that opportunity. Definitely stack the high level infrastructures like Ronin, Beam, Super, as I mentioned, but I'm really focused, hyper focused, I would say, on the mid to low caps that have taken a dip during this time period that we went over throughout the period of this show, as well as the upcoming launches. With Portal's success, uh, Portal's success, Aether Games, we had Entangle. There's so many TGEs that have come around that have just absolutely crushed it. I think that Gaiman, I think Games GG, I think Block Games, Chrono Forge, these are going to be massive winners. So if you can get into the right projects and get access to those launches, I think you're well ahead of the game. And that's the alpha in this market is trying to get your hands on those early launches, consolidate your non your low conviction bags into your high conviction bags and be ready for that next run because I do not think that this run is over guys like the video subscribe down below we're going to be back on monday as always to cover the market there should be some big news after gdc projects getting back providing updates etc i'm excited to see the sentiment from a lot of my friends and other content creators and builders that come back from gdc whenever i have those conversations so we'll update you on monday with everything we hear from gdc from you know just the industry in general i expect a big week next week in the gaming landscape especially with all these different tges around the corner so guys like and subscribe i'll see y'all monday Y'all have a great weekend, and as always, play well, my friends.